Hey everybody, it's Dave Dugdale, learningvideo.com. So I thought I'd get in all the different step-up rings that B&H offers in for testing. Now originally when I thought of doing this review of all these different step-up rings that B&H offers, I thought it would be a really cool idea. And then looking through all of the reviews for every single one of these, um, and then realizing that everybody was getting kind of different results. Um, and the reason I'm guessing is, is you use a lens like this. This is a tank of a lens. This is a Sony. 16 to 35 f4 uh, built by Zeiss or Sony um, And it's got some really nice threads on here. This is a pretty battle-tested lens. It's been through a lot um, And also the the filter that you use and the threads on it are going to play into whatever experience you're gonna have So I thought originally this would be a really cool idea to do this But in hindsight you're probably going to get um, a different result than me because I'm using this combination of ND filter and this particular lens. Before we start, let me compare this, the most expensive one, which is $50, to the cheapest one. This is a, I think it's called Sensi, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Uh, this one is $5. This one's made out of brass. This one's made out of aluminum. Pretty much, there's only two that are made out of brass, and you can definitely, I can definitely feel the weight difference. Um, but I think what would be interesting for you guys is to hear the difference. And that's aluminum. All right, so what I'm going to do is just do every single one of these for you so you can hear the difference and you can see the attempts that it takes to get this on here. This is the most expensive one, the Helio Pan. That is made out of brass. And again, I think everybody's going to have a different experience because of the, the ND that you're using. Now, they all say to don't over tighten. And if you do with one of them, I'll show you later, it really sticks all the time and it's a pain in the butt to get off. But there's two different types of ND filters. There's fixed, like the one I have here, and there's variable, or um, ones that will actually spin. Um, and if you want to spin it, you don't want the whole thing to come off like this just did. So you're going to have to put it on with a certain amount of force. Now these brass ones that I've found are really easy to, even if they, even if you tighten them quite a bit, they're pretty easy to get, un, you know, to untighten. But this helio pan, where it basically that last bit of travel where I rotate it just like a, I don't know, a 64th of a turn, not much. It's just a little bit of a turn there, that last floor where it starts to bite down onto the, the lens. And again, every lens is gonna be different. But this one, the way it feels, is probably one of the best. Um, that last little bit of a turn to get it tight. All right, the next one up is the Sensi Pro uh, Brass Step-Up Ring. Again, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this correctly, but uh, I think it's kind of a waste that they put it in this nice case, because are you gonna ever use it after you take it out? It seems like a waste of packaging. All right, here we go. This one's nice because it's got um, these ribs on it on the side, so it's, I think it's actually better in terms of putting it on than the Helio Pan. And that last bit of turn feels really nice. It has a, it kind of has that nice sticky feel to it right that towards the end, but it, you can definitely take it off. And then I'll put the uh, ND filter on. This is the Benro ND filter that I've reviewed before, and I really like it. And in terms of turning it off, you can see they both came off together. Um, sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. I, but again, you can see it's got these ribs on it, so it's a lot easier to get these um, separated. And that's probably the biggest thing that I've read in the reviews is when people, and you kind of panic, you're like, ah, I can't get it, you know, separated. And you, you know, I remember uh, years ago I had one, I had a line with like graphite from a pencil just to help not get it sticky because it was such a cheap, cheap one. But this one, um, even if you try, I'm tightening it quite a bit here, um, they come apart quite nicely. So the Sensi Pro brass, um, I really like it because of the ribs on the side. This is the Helio Pan that costs $50. This one's $30. Uh, I would get this one just because it has ribs. They both feel pretty much exactly the same, putting them on the lens and the ND filter. So I would say save 20 bucks if you're going to go for brass and get this one. All right, this is the next most expensive one. This is the B plus W, um, and this is the worst one. Uh, but this one comes in at $21. And I would suggest if you own this 
ND filter plus lens combination, I would say don't because this one sticks like crazy. This one's aluminum. Uh, let's give this one a go. This one I am not going to over tighten because I've done it and I'll show you some B-roll of all the different tests I've done on this one. But this one sticks a lot um, if you over tighten it. Um, in fact, I'm going to tighten this one here a little bit. The problem is not from here to here, it's the problem from the step up ring to my Benro. This one I don't want to over tighten because um, I've had a hell of a time unsticking them as you can see from the B-roll. Uh, I was very frustrated getting it out. So this one at $21, I would suggest not buying it. It's just, um, at least for this combination, it's very sticky. And again, I was looking at the reviews online of all the different people that talked about their experience with this one. And then a lot of people liked it. So it probably has to do with the lens and ND filter combination. Next up is the VU. This one comes in at $20 and this one is also aluminum. This one has uh, ribs on it as well, so this is kind of nice to have that. Um, but as you see, at least for the sound of it, it sounds very, very thin, very high pitched. Um, but the experience is not that bad. Uh, I'm going to try to just undo the top and see it separated quite well. And again, it all comes to this last part where you tighten it and it feels pretty good. There's other ones where you, you, you do a little bit of that last bit and you can feel it feels crunchy or like there's some grit inside of it or something like that. But this one feels pretty good. Next up is Tiffin. This one all also comes for 20 bucks and it is compared to the last one. It has maybe a lower pitch. <laughs> so I guess it's maybe a little bit thicker. Let's give it a go. This one does not have any uh, ribs on the side. Oh, didn't get it that time. And that last bit of feel, that's pretty sticky right there. Yeah, it's really sticky right, that last bit. Almost has kind of a, the feel of it. It's like, I don't know. Doesn't quite feel as good as the last one. And that didn't feel very good either. And you can see it's stuck almost instantly to the ring itself. And I've done these tests many times. Sometimes I get different results, but right here you can see how sticky it is. And it's like, ah! So I would say no on the Tiffin. I see the experience I'm having right now is like, this is where you like freak out and you're like, I can't get it off. And it's like, sometimes you have to like hit it a few times. But yeah, this one is, there it goes. All right, here's another Sensi Pro, but this one is aluminum. And again, I don't know what you're paying extra for this case. They probably could have saved a couple of bucks and given this to you a cheaper. But this one comes in at 12 bucks. This one's got ribs on the side as well. Goes on nice. That last bit feels pretty good. That last little bit right there. I'm going to try to reach just for the top and you can see they both came off and this one's not bad. This one came out pretty good. So for 12 bucks, this one's not too bad. All right, next up is Ka-Vision, CA-Vision. I don't know how you pronounce it. Um, it's aluminum. This one does not have any ribs on the side. This one comes in at $10. Let's go ahead and try to take it off. You can see the whole thing came off. And then getting them apart. Again, there's no, there's no ribs on this thing, so it's making it a little bit tougher. 
but it wasn't too bad. Not as bad as like the B plus W. All right, here's the last Sensi. Um, this one comes in at five dollars, and it's also, especially at that price, it's also aluminum. Very quiet to put on. It has no ribs. That last little bit, it's a bit more sticky. It has a kind of a stickier feel to it right there towards the end. And then taking it off, and they both come off. <laughs> it happens a lot. No matter how much you torque on it, a lot of them clump off together. And getting that, oh, this is a little stickier than I remember. Oh, there it goes. And the last one is this Bauer. Um, I didn't even order this. Um, there was another one in here that was only like $2.95. It was called General Brand, and I got this one instead. Um, usually B&H is extremely good about getting the right products to me. Um, so I put a call into my rep, and he's asking the buyer about it. Um, if I find out what the mess up was, I'll put it down in the... The description below but this one um they don't even sell on bnh so i'm really surprised i couldn't even find it on bnh but i found it on amazon i think it's around five dollars so this is also another really cheap one let's go ahead it's aluminum give it a try that last little bit has kind of a gritty feel to it. Just that last part right there. Which may be good or bad. I don't know. And then I'm going to take it off. And maybe because it has kind of a little bit of a gritty feel towards the end, it sticks on the lens pretty good. Pretty well. And that is the $5 Bauer. At least I think it's $5. So that's pretty much it. Again, like I said before, I've tried these like at least 10 times each, turning, putting them on, taking them off. Um, but really when it comes down to it, uh, I'm not finding any clear winner. Um, obviously the brass ones work the best. You know, $50 is a lot of money. <laughs> um, but this one um, for like $30 worked really well. And they don't, you don't get that panic uh, attack when, when you're trying to get it off. Like, ah, I'll never get these off. Um, some of the cheaper ones work fine too. And like, like I said before, like the reviews that I read online sometimes were the same or sometimes were different experience than what I had taking these on and off over and over again. Okay, falling into the kind of ironic category of testing all this stuff, I wanted to buy one of these for this combination, but when I use any of these step-up adapters, I can't put this lens hood onto this lens. And I, when I'm outside, I don't want to have all the flaring that comes with having an ND filter on here without a lens hood. So I'm probably not going to buy one of these. I'm probably just going to go buy another ND filter 